One of Colorado's newest Democratic state representatives is facing mounting criticism from both sides for his stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Tim Hernandez first drew criticism from his conservative colleagues for attending a small pro-Palestine rally this weekend, shortly after Hamas militants crossed into the Israeli border towns and killed and abducted hundreds of civilians. Almost immediately, Hernandez, Hernandez's Republican colleagues called for Democratic leadership to issue some sort of formal reprimand. In a statement earlier this week, Hernandez said he attended the rally in solidarity with the Palestinian community, who have also suffered hundreds of civilian losses in Gaza in the Israeli air strikes following the Hamas attacks. Hernandez goes on to say he, quote, condemns war for any loss at all and that he's against attacks on innocent people. Then we took a look at his social media activity. Over the weekend, Hernandez liked a series of tweets appearing to support the Hamas attacks as an act of resistance. Some of them seem to make light of the war that's now killed more than a thousand in Israel. Democratic House Speaker Julie McCluskey and House Majority Leader Monica Duran told us they were deeply disappointed with Hernandez and that he hasn't explicitly condemned the violence. We reached out to Hernandez today, offering him a chance to share his opinion with us. We haven't heard back. Back in August, though, Kyle asked Hernandez on this show what he thought of using force as a protest tool. Here's what he had to say. I mean, here's the deal. You're on the Fox News Channel homepage because people think that you were advocating for some kind of violent cultural revolution. And you said, violence isn't my, isn't my bag. No. But do you think that it is necessary or acceptable? I, I'm not here to police protest. You know, I think that folks who, who choose to relegate towards violence uh, is a personal political decision for themselves. And I think that what that, what that arrives at and often it is never people's first choice, right? Uh, Martin Luther King says the ride is the language of the unheard. Right? And I think that as a state legislator, I'm looking forward to hearing, to creating opportunities to hear communities, because hopefully we can prevent any form of forceful cultural violence. Unsurprisingly, the Colorado Republican Party is calling for Hernandez to resign or for House leaders to expel him. That's an unlikely move and requires a two-thirds vote of all House members. Hernandez was appointed back in August by a vacancy committee with just 39 votes.